Hello viewers, in this tutorial, I'm going to take you through a step-by-step -step process of how to design this flyer, which could be shared digitally on the social media, and in this case, WhatsApp. Without much ado, let's get started. Let's create a new file with a width of 1080 pixels by 1920 pixels at a resolution of 300 pixels. Let's change the color code 0050FF. Let's introduce the image as a background. Let's transform the size a bit at this angle. Now let's fade the bottom section of the image by applying, let's apply a layer marks to it first. Make sure that the foreground is set to black and the background to white. Let's activate the brush tool by pressing B on the keyboard. Let's reduce the size by pressing square bracket on the keyboard. Now we can fade the bottom part of the background and in this case the picture of the cake okay we are good to go now Let's change the, the blend mode of the image of the image to soft light. Let's introduce a pattern layer. In this case, we'll be using the, the default patterns in Photoshop. I'm using a Photoshop CC 2019 in this case. Let's see what we have. I'm choosing this one with the dotted pattern dots set at a scale of 100 okay let's select the max of the pattern making sure that it's the, the foreground is set to black and the background to white let's increase the size of our brush this time a, li a little bigger uh, let's fade the middle part of the pattern we good to go now let's change the blind mode of the pattern to multiply Let's introduce another image. Let's set it to the lower part of the canvas. Let's reduce the size a bit. At this position is right. Let's accept the transformation. Let's convert the photo to a smart object. Let's add a motion blur to the image by going to the photo tab selecting on blur and selecting motion blur in this case uh, let's set the angle of the blur to 41 negative 41 and the distance to 12 let's accept it let's create a solid color layer and set it to 
black let's select the max of the solid color let's press B to activate the brush tool this time we'll fade it from the center okay let's change the blend mode to let's say to let's set the blend mode to let's say multiply let's create another solid color let's set the color to white to black select the let's select the max part of the solid color now let's fade let's fade the whole section of the solid color starting from the top to below let's reduce the size of our brush by clicking the square bracket on our keyboard now let's change the blend mode to soft light Uh, let's get in the habit of uh, keeping a clear a clean uh, a clean layer just by grouping it and then we'll rename it to background now let's introduce the photo first of all we'll, we'll uh, create a circle using the clips tool or you on your keyboard this time let's press shift and alt at the same time while creating the circle and you can use the at the same time you can hold the space key on your keyboard to align it to the center as in my case So we can change the color to white. Now let's introduce the photo. Let's transform the size of the photo by making it bigger. let's duplicate the photo by pressing ctrl j on our keyboard ctrl j let's select this photo oh and clip 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 max it into the circle we can use uh, the keyboard shortcut by pressing and holding the hot key so when the mouse button changes to this face we can just click right into the eclipse layer so we if you hide the image on top you see what what you've done so that's that's what you have now now with this part of the image we'll apply a max to it pressing and holding press and hold the the control on your keyboard and click on the image thumbnail so that we have it selected all around like this now we'll fade the outer part of the image this section we would like to fade this part leaving the other part, part as it is so Making sure that the foreground is set to black and the background to white, 
with the with the brush tool activated let's press b on our keyboard let's reduce the size of our brush by pressing the square bracket on our keyboard so i'm fading this part of the image as you can see i'm fading it out right so let's press ctrl d to remove the moving antlers around the image or the picture let's zoom out to see our full image okay at this stage let's create some circles around the white one so let's activate our circle by pressing e on our keyboard press and hold um, press and hold shift and alt at the same time so that we have a perfect square at the same time you can also press the space bar on your keyboard just to align it at ex the exact place that you want it to be in my case i want it here let's change the color of our circle to a color that looks exactly like the shirt that is worn by the kit something like a red would do but let's say a pink a bit of a, a shy uh, pink let's say let's use this color f f zero three four nine let's duplicate the circle by pressing ctrl j on our keyboard let's activate the move to by pressing on the key by pressing on v on our keyboard uh, let's align or position uh, the duplicated circle to another point press ctrl t to transform the size of the circle smaller than the original one while doing so make sure that the your your shift key you press and hold the shift key so that you have a perfect square at the end okay let's accept it and position it closer to the big one big circle okay cool now we can press on both circle and duplicate it by pressing ctrl j let's align it somewhere here let's press ctrl t let's flip it horizontally and see what we have let's flip it vertically again good now let's transform the size of the circles by pressing and holding your your shift key on, on your keyboard let's accept it let's position it a bit okay at this point we will accept it as it is now let's group all th all these layers and rename it as a photo let's group it and rename it as photo the video is fast forwarded in this section to save time Let's flip it horizontally. Let's resize it a bit. Go. Cool. Let's duplicate it by pressing Ctrl J. Let's place them above all the layers. Let's flip this horizontally and uh, increase the size a bit let's rotate it like this 
let's duplicate it again by pressing ctrl j let's position it here let's flip it horizontally again up to this point yeah let's see if we can uh, reposition the photo folder again the photo folder again okay I think it's cool it's quite good here let's see if we can do that for the happy birthday folder okay cool let's go let's go into this folder the background folder and push the kick down a bit the picture of the kick down a bit yeah up to this level yeah so we can have more room for the other elements now let's select this photo the picture of the slice kick let's convert it to a smart object and apply some motion blur to it so let's go to filter blur motion blur okay let's leave it at this angle I think it's quite good now let's convert the other slice cake into a convert into a smart object now let's undo what if this done let's undo I think I mistakenly merged them together now let's select it individually and convert it to a smart object convert each to a smart object let's select this for for and see if you can transfer the feature of the motion blur to it by pressing and holding alt on our keyboard by selecting first of all select this layer press and hold on press and hold alt on your keyboard and we can now transfer the features of the smart the motion blur to it like this now let's select this one and transfer the feature of the motion blur to it again press and hold your key the alt keyboard cool so now we've transferred the motion blur to all the other kicks now let's see if we can ref let's go back to refer to the original image okay now we are left with this part let's go back to our design with all selected let's press let's position it on top of all the other, la other layers and scale it let's scale it a bit let's rescale it to reduce the size I think this size is quite good now let's apply some a bit of let's zoom in into the image and let's apply some drop shadow I'll first apply it to the two drop shadow okay let's maintain it at these values now let's see if we can transfer the the features of the drop layer to uh, the drop shadow to the other layers let's do that for the arrow select the two select the arrow and press and hold uh, on your alt on your keyboard and transfer it let's do that for the s2 now let's group all those layers let's rename it let's rename it as two years yes
Okay. Now let's collapse the group. Now let's group all the slice cake and group it. And let's rename it that sliced cake. Okay. Now let's zoom in to see what we've got into so far. Let's refer to the original image and see what you can further do. Okay. Now we left we are left with the name. Let's type the name. Let's add some illuminations to the canvas. Let's see if we can brighten it a, a bit further. Let's create a new layer. Now let's hide all the other layers. Let's change our foreground color to 0, 0, 6, 5, 9, 6. Let's activate the brush tool by pressing B on our keyboard. Let's increase the size of our, our brush tool by pressing the right square bracket. Let's reduce it a bit further. I think it's good at this point. Let's double click it. Let's create another layer. This time we'll apply the brush at the top right corner and lower it down. Okay, we're good to go. Now let's show all the other layers with the with the, with the layer one selected, let's change the mode to linear dodge. Let's reposition it to this part of the layer. Now let's change the layer two, the blown the blend mode of the layer two to color dodge. Now let's apply our final touch to it using the color lookup. Let's use the three strip look. Cool. Now let's select all the these layers and group them and rename it as adjustments. Thanks for sharing time with us. Subscribe for more exciting tutorials. Ciao.